Okay, so I have a document that I need to file with the district court. And most people, when they're pro se, uh, mail things into the court. But pro se filers can actually still use the PACER system that attorneys are allowed to use. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to use that system yourself. So to start, we have a document that we want to submit to the court. In this case, it's a status report, but it could also be a motion. It could be a motion with attachments. Um, but it's already, it's already typed up and ready to go. And we could type up a certificate of service, but in this case, we're not even going to. So we'll go to File. And we'll go to Save as PDF. And I've already created this, uh, but let's pretend I haven't. It'll go ahead, it'll create the PDF. So right now we can see our PDF. It's all set up and ready to go. Now we need to submit it to the court via PACER. So to do that, once we know our PDF looks good, we'll close out. Stay logged in. And here we are at the PACER screen. It'll say, uh, where do we want to go? We'll hit Court ECM F Locator and hit Submit. And now we want to find the court. In my case, it'll be the Western District Court for Pennsylvania. And if you start typing, it'll pull it up, hit apply, it'll bring up the court we want. And then you want to click here where it says CMECF login. So we click that. And then we click this link up here for document filing. And now up here, it'll give us a drop down of the different things we can file. So in this case, you want to go to responses. And this is actually a reply to an order of the court asking for a status report. So we're going to hit response, but not response to motion, um, because we're actually responding to an order in this case. So hit next. Uh, that's the case we want. So we'll hit next. Hit next again. OK, now it's going to ask you to select the party. So that's me. I'm the plaintiff in this case. So we'll hit next. And now it's going to ask us for the main document. So we'll hit choose file. And open up the PDF file we created earlier. Which will be... right here, this one. And I've actually dated this uh, today's date. So, you know, there's no confusion. If I had attachments, um, I could go ahead and add them right here. But in this case, I don't. So I'm just going to hit next. And now it's going to ask you should it link to another document in the case. And in this case, we could probably link it to the order of the court. Um, and ideally, we would have already pulled up the document. But since we haven't, we can run a report right now. And you'll see right here that what we're responding to is document number 46, which is the order of the court. 
So now that we know that, we can close out. And where it says documents, we'll just put in 46. And now we hit next. Yep, and this is the document we want, so we'll hit next. And hit next again. And now it'll say that pressing the next screen commits this transaction. You have no further opportunity to modify this transaction. So we want to make sure that we have the document right. We do, and then we hit next. And that's it. Um, and when you file something in PACER, you'll get this notice of electronic filing. Also, the party you are against will get a notice of electronic filing. So this pretty much takes the place of a certificate of service. Um, and you can also click right here, this document 47. And hit view document and right there is the document we were able to file with the court and you're allowed one copy of um, the document you also get a notice in your email um, so what I normally like to do is after I file something on PACER I'll click download and then I'll actually save a copy of the document I filed with the court and I'll date it um, and that way I just have a copy to go back to and I like to use a year and then um, two digit month so zero one not just one and then um, like today's date would be 07 and that way when it's listed, it lists automatically in chronological order, and then you can just put the name of your document, and I like to put filed to differentiate um, the one that I uploaded from the one that I then pull back down from Pacer. So, yeah, that's it. Um, it's pretty easy to use the system. Now, granted, this video doesn't show you how to actually create the account in Pacer. Um, you also have to put in a credit card and, um, you know, get approved for the court you're trying to electronically file in. So there's actually more steps than are covered in this video. But if you guys are interested in how to set that up, I'll put a link to Pacer in the description for this video. Now, obviously, uh, Pacer is only for federal courts. So if you're trying to do something in state court, you're going to have to use a different system. Uh, but I wanted to make this video and, um, you know, hopefully it helps somebody out. And if you guys want me to start doing some more law stuff on the channel, let me know. And I'll see you guys next time.